You can get started with CDIS Builder through the desktop icon by double clicking on the icon. In that case, it brings you to the main screen where there's two main sections. The top part is where you allow you select your data sets that you're going to work on. And then the bottom section here are all the tools. For example, if you were to select on these sample data sets and click on on some tools, you can only select one data set at a time. So in the add sequence, I'll go ahead and just add select one data set. In that case, it shows me how to add sequence numbers with options. Most of the screens are similar in that they have the section to select the data and then options pertaining to that particular tool. In addition to re selecting everything through the user interface, you can also usually select on save code, which means that it would generate a SAS macro call that you can run in batch mode corresponding to all the options that you selected here. So another tool is the CDISC checker, which verifies the integrity of your CDISC um, datasets. You can also create comments datasets, which are a special domain within the SDTM model through this screen. You can also generate various reports such as audit trail, proc print and proc contents along with the traceability report through this report tool. The difference test allows you to verify the attributes between your data sets to see if they're consistent. The findings allow you to create specific domains within the do uh, findings uh, domain of CDISC data models. The find a relationship is a tool that allows you to search for um, variables that are related to another domain. That's usually um, the relational records that you're going to create. In addition, you can evaluate any formats, catalogs that you have. Uh, in this case, it, the summarization of the format catalog could be useful as a code list for your CDIS documentation. You can manage all of your metadata as well through this metadata manager. So once you create your new CDIS data standard, that metadata could be managed here. The match var will evaluate different um, data sets and see what common attributes they may have. This will allow you to establish new standards. The order var, uh, in this case I'll select just one data set, allows you to order your variables with particular key fields so that um, all of your data will be or ordered correctly in terms of their variable um, order. You can also run proxedis through this option where you can select options and um, this will generate the actual proxedis code that uh, saves you from having to generate that manually. As I mentioned earlier, you can create the relational records by selecting identifying variables that are related to a particular domain and it will create your real rec for you. You can also create transport data sets which are used in your submission and you can create the supplemental qualifiers which are variables that are supplemental to your main data set. Um, and you can also set a standard set of lengths that will be um, the, the lengths of your variables so that all of your data sets will have consistent variable lengths. So these are some of the tools that you can access and you would just click on exit to close out.